Okay, I'm not a big fan of boil testing, but uh, there seems to be argument about how long it takes to boil water on a board. Uh, so frustrating. So let's get going on this right away. I've got a little metal pan here underneath my board stove. That way I can, you know, have a little place to put my denatured alcohol in to heat things up. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. There you go. And we'll start that heating while I explain the rest of this stuff, okay? Here's my little board stand I made. It's all stainless steel. It's very cool. It breaks down into a, and into, goes into a flat thing you can pack easily. So we're going to put that over the board. Meanwhile, while we're doing that, we're going to take a look at this is, it's not from Iceland. This is out of my tap, but I like these bottles, so I reuse them. All right, this is a one liter bottle of water, and it's full up. It's actually probably a little more than a liter. And it's been sitting on my counter inside the house. So we're going to take a little thermometer here. Oh, <laughs> and we stick that in there and see how warm it is. Uh, okay, it's about... Well, that's surprising. I guess I did fill them up not that long ago. It's about 62. It's a lot warmer in my house, but somehow the <laughs> water only got filled up a little while ago. So it's only made it up to 62. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to take this liter while we're preheating our board. And we're going to put it, as much as that I can get in there without spilling it, into this uh, GSI anodized aluminum water boiler. Okay, I want you to look now, see, because there's no little heat fins, heat exchange crap on the bottom. This is just, oops, so there you go. That's just, you know, flat bottom. It's got a plastic lid. It's got a, a dual handle. We're going to start up our board here. It's been preheating. Gonna open the the uh, spindle. Oh look, here we go. Flameage. Okay. I don't know. I never know quite how to adjust these things. They're so weird. What do you think? Does that look good? Sure. Why not? Huh? Okay, so now, oh, the key, oops, sorry, you gotta have a stopwatch, all right. So, because we're doing crazy boil time tests, which I never understood, but all right, here we go. There we go. Oh, and start, <laughs> sorry, there we go, started now. Probably somebody will say, oh, well, you didn't do that right. <laughs> you didn't press the button on the right time. Yeah, whatever. Okay. How's that look? Can you see that? Probably not. Here. Can, can you read that sucker? Sort of. Okay. So we have probably a little more than a, a full liter of water. And it was, you know, 62 degrees roughly. Uh, that's what my thermometer said anyway. It's kind of a chintzy thermometer. And now you get the exciting experience, not, of watching water boil. Can anything be more boring? Well, I don't know, paint drying? The goal here is to come to a full rolling boil, or some people call it a roiling boil. A rolling or roiling boil means that the water's like really, you know, cranking over. It's the kind of boil you want to see before you throw a bunch of pasta into your pot. Noodles, you know. Or you want to boil rice, you got to get the rice boiling. I mean, it's like a, a vigorous water churning over kind of boil. That's what we want to see. Now, I don't, there's these crazy people on the internet, on YouTube especially, it's really bad. They say, oh, look, it boiled. It boiled after a minute and a half. And, you know, they look at it, and there's like, they show you the water, and there's just these teeny little bubbles, and they're just laying there. They're not doing anything. And they're like, oh, my stove boils so fast. But not really, because it's not actually boiling. Boiling means, like, churning. You know, like white water. Woo! I'm just setting up for when this thing starts boiling, so I can show it to you. I have a white wall. It's tough to see uh, steam against the white wall. So currently we're at like, oh, about two minutes. La, 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 la. There's positioning my 
stove underneath the pot a little better. Yeah. Well, that's pretty exciting. But while we're thinking about that, um, yeah. Yeah, pretty boring. I guess you could say, if you're using one of these stoves to boil water, you might end up getting bored. <laughs> or maybe the water gets bored. The pot gets bored? I don't know. Very confusing. A little more than a liter of water, about 62 degrees. Uh, the uh, room temperature is about 62 degrees too, actually. That's probably why the water is about that. So there you go. Hey, you can see those flames, huh? Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, we're up around about four minutes. Wow, well, I'm sorry. I was kind of taking a nap there for a while. Yeah, I'm still here. How about you? Here we go. It's about five minutes. Just turned five minutes just now. You see there's a lot of flameage right here coming out from underneath the board. Or <laughs> underneath the pot from the board. I got all kinds of condensation on top here. I think it's getting really close to boiling. And you'll see the steam come out of this when we get to it. Oh, there it is. You can see the steam starting to come out. Look at that. Okay, and right now it's 530, 540. 540. Let's take a look. Take the lid off this puppy. Now that's... <laughs> there you go. That's a dumb camera move, huh? There we go, that's a full rolling boil. Yeah, I put the lens right over the steam and it steams up. That's a full rolling boil there, see? All right, that's a real boil. And our time, I left it go, it's still six minutes here. But I mean, you know, clearly it was boiling way back at, at about 540. And I'm gonna take this off of here. And there's our board going to town. And you notice it's the flame's a lot bigger now. Now why is that? Well, because as the stove pressurizes, it gets more and more pressure in there. And right now, yeah, it's too hot to touch that barrel. So I'm gonna turn this puppy down. There we go. And off. Okay. That's it. So roughly 540 for uh, a full liter plus a little bit of water. There we go. 540 of a full liter of water to boil. Yep.